Hi all, wanted to provide a demonstration of Twitter Gadget's tweet filtering functionality. And what tweet filtering does, you may already be familiar with Twitter Gadget's user mute control. What user mute control, as you guys may be aware, uh, does is allows you to remove from your timeline uh, any tweets by a specific user for a specified period of time, permanently or temporarily, however long you keep the, the mute, user mute control in place. Um, Tweet filtering is something similar, but rather than muting uh, all tweets based on a specific user, you can mute all tweets um, regardless of user that mentions certain keywords. Though so it can be a single keyword, uh, multiple keyword phrase, a hashtag, whatever it may be. Um, just anything that uh, may be flooding your timeline that you may not be currently interested in that you want to kind of filter out. So in my case, I can go ahead and scroll through this timeline. I can see lots of references to the hashtag Android. Um, and there's there's a bunch of them. Um, so if I want to go ahead and say, for the time being, I'm not currently interested in, in, in that particular topic. Let's go ahead and create a filter upon it. The most basic of way of which I can create this filter, and what you're going to see going forward during this demonstration, is there's going to be lots of ways and shortcuts and efficiencies that have been put in place that allow you to create these filters. But the most basic way is uh, via the options menu below the bottom right of the tweet input box, you're going to see a new option labeled keyword filters. When you hover keyword filters, you'll also see a quick reference to Alt plus Y, um, which is your keyboard shortcut to, to quickly gain access to your filters menu as well. So if we go ahead and click keyword filters in the most basic fashion, a menu pops up and there's going to be a list of the keyword filters that I currently have in place. Right now I don't have any filters in place, so let's go ahead and add one. We just mentioned previously that we wanted to do a hashtag filter on the keyword Android. So we'll go ahead and enter that in, hit save. We now see it's in place. Now we can wait for an auto refresh for that filter to apply, or in this case we'll hit manually refresh. And now we can see we have five tweets that have been filtered based on the hashtag Android. And if we scroll through this timeline, you see that anything that referenced Android has now been eliminated. So what's really nice as well is, is once I have the filters in place and filters have been applied and we see this little indicator bar, if you hover over the indicator bar as a whole, anywhere on the bar, you're going to see a nice little tool tip that pops up. It says double click to view save filters. That's a quick and efficient manner to get back to those filters rather than having to go through the keyboard shortcut Alt Y um, that we mentioned or going through the menu drop down arrow and selecting keyword filters. If a filters are being applied, just go ahead and double click that uh, filter bar and you're going to see all of them. You can go, then go ahead and remove your filter, hit refresh. Now the five filters are gone. Now, I showed you earlier the quick way or the way to go about add, adding filters through the drop down menu. But in addition to that, you can go ahead and let's go ahead and pick a, uh, a, a phrase somewhere in the timeline. Let's go ahead and say, okay, Wall Street. There's lots of references. There may only be one in this particular case, but let's say we want to create a filter on Wall Street. We can go ahead and simply highlight the keyword or the phrase, whatever it might be, and you're going to see via the pop up menu where you normally see search and translate, you're going to see a third option labeled filter. If you go ahead and click filter, We've now immediately added that particular phrase to your filters. If we hit refresh or wait for the auto refresh, either way, we're going to see we have one tweet that's now been filtered. Let's go ahead and add Android back to that filter list as well via our, hi our highlighting mechanism, filter. Now we have Wall Street and Android. We go ahead and hit refresh. And now we have six tweets filtered. And again, double click, pull up that list as well, quick, easy access. Now, once we have six tweets filtered, you may be saying, boy, I wonder what those six tweets uh, that have been filtered, why they have been filtered, what they've been filtered upon. If I go ahead and, and hover over the, the link labeled filtered, you'll see a little tooltip pop up. It says, click to view six tweets filtered on, and you're going to see a quick list of the particular tweets that have been filtered based on the filters you've set up. So you can quickly understand what you're not seeing without having to do anything further or actually view those tweets. If you're so inclined, you can go ahead and then click the link and we will return your list of filter tweets that have been filtered based on the keywords you've set up. And not only will we do this, what's nice is we're also going to highlight in the particular tweet the words that the filter is based. So again, you can quickly ascertain uh, the reason that these tweets have been filtered out with a nice little blue highlighting. Here you see Wall Street for that one tweet as well as the remainders that have been filtered on the hashtag Android. We can go ahead and go back to viewing those that aren't filtered. Um, go ahead and double click our toolbar, remove our filters, close up the list, hit refresh, and now we're back to square one.